Hi everybody. This lecture briefly introduces the Metamorphosis, which is the novella that you'll be reading for the week after Thanksgiving, along with a couple adaptations of it. To begin, I'm going to talk a little bit about Franz Kafka, uh, who's the author of the Metamorphosis. So, Franz Kafka <laughs> lived um, 1833 to 1924. Uh, so he was um, sort of writing during a time period that's often sort of called modernism. Um, he was born in Prague, um, which at the time that he was born was part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, uh, and he primarily wrote in German. So uh, what you'll be reading for this week was actually translated from German. And his fiction is well known for mixing elements of realism with um, the fantastic, uh, as is obvious in the novella assigned for this week, uh, as well as exploring themes like alienation, um, existential anxiety, as well as absurdism. With that in mind, uh, I'm also going to talk a little bit about absurdism. Uh, absurdism, is, absurdism is a philosophical movement uh, that came out of existentialism. So if you're familiar with the writings of um, Sartre, for example, uh, you will, this will feel somewhat familiar to you. Uh, it's a philosophical movement that's premised on the idea that there's no inherent meaning in the universe. Uh, so uh, it's, there's no sort of there's no sort of divine meaning or um, sort of uh, inherent purpose for people's existence within this sort of philosophical uh, framework. And in this movement, the term absurd doesn't mean ridiculous or silly, which is how we often think of it today. Instead, it refers to the disconnect between people's desire to find meaning and the fundamental meaninglessness of the universe. So, in other words, um, when people realize that they're in this predicament where they have this desire to find meaning, but there's no inherent meaning, uh, they discover sort of the absurdity of existence. With, and again, this is according to this philosophical framework. Uh, and this can sound really sort of dark <laughs> and um, depressing. Uh, however, I, it's also important to recognize that some of the philosophers uh, who are part of this movement did believe that you could find meaning, uh, at least in, circum, cer in certain circumstances. However, they didn't believe that there was sort of an inherent meaning. Uh, they believed that if you found meaning, it was something that you had to sort of find for yourself or something you had to make for yourself. So it was sort of your responsibility to find that meaning as opposed to finding a meaning that uh, God uh, or other or some other sort of entity had sort of put there in the universe for you. Uh, so I hope that makes sense. So what does this have to do with the metamorphosis? Uh, this novella, which is a sign for this week, uh, is often seen as an early example of absurdist literature. And it's important for other reasons as well, uh, but this is one of the reasons it's often taught and one of the reasons why it's often, you know, put in anthologies um, like the one assigned for this class. Uh, so how is it absurd or how is it an example of absurdist, absurdist literature? Well, first of all, it's obviously based on an absurd premise. Um, this is a story of a guy who wakes up and is turned into a giant insect. Uh, so that's kind of ridiculous, <laughs> kind of absurd in and of itself. Uh, however, through this sort of fantastic story, it also poses a lot of sort of big questions about the meaning of life or possibly the lack of meaning in life. So as you read the story, I want you to pay attention to the things and people that Gregor, who's the main character, cares about. Uh, in other words, I want you to think about uh, what has given meaning to his life up until his transformation into a giant insect. And uh, think about whether these things continue to matter and continue to have significance after his transformation. And then finally, uh, also pay attention to what, if anything, gives his life meaning or significance after his transformation, after his transformation uh, into a giant insect. 
So I hope this helps provide some context and some guidance uh, for the story. In addition to the novella, which is quite long, uh, so I encourage you to get an early start on it. You'll also be reading a short, fairly short comic that's sort of a mashup of uh, The Metamorphosis and Charlie Brown, uh, which should be interesting. I think it's interesting. And then you'll also be listening to a short story that was uh, produced a couple years ago. So you'll actually be listening to it as opposed to reading it, uh, which um, imagines a conversation or rather a series of letters written between Gregor, who's the main character in The Metamorphosis, uh, and Dr. Seuss. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoy this and I look forward to seeing what you guys think of it.